go again, Elimination Chamber. Goldberg has returned. Goldberg has returned once again. I feel like this guy is like Undertaker. You just can't keep him down. He just comes back again and again. I thought Undertaker was the dead man. No, forget that. The new gimmick of Goldberg is the dead man. No matter how many times you put him down, no matter how many times you don't see him, he just comes back again and again and he gets that title shot after title shot after top. It's absolutely insane. It is absolutely insane, my boys. Now, I'm going to be honest. I like Goldberg back in the day back in the day goldberg was a force to be reckoned with but to be very honest with you this time around last couple four five years maybe whatever it's it's not been too great let's be honest uh i feel like goldberg has kind of tarnished his Goldberg name. To be honest with you, I understand he wants to come back. I understand the fans of Goldberg would like him back. But let's be honest, the matches and the wrestling ability has kind of slipped away just a little bit. But it's kind of cool we're getting to see Spear versus Spear. You know, head of the table versus uh, Goldberg. You're next. Yo, yo. Roman is his next victim. Will it be a good match? I don't know. I hope it will be a good match. Who's going to win? Roman's winning. I'm telling you that now for, for free. That's not a prediction. That's a spoiler in the words of Paul Heyman, baby. <laughs> All right. So in the comments below, let me know how you guys feel about Roman and Goldberg going head to head. I kind of want to see new blood, man. Like, I'm so happy that Austin Theory is going to be in the chamber. I'm going to be very honest with you. It's stacked. We got Lashley, AJ, bro. It's, it's, it's going to be amazing. To see Austin Theory in there is a very, very nice touch. To be very honest with you. Oh, Superman punch. To be very honest with you, my boys, I would kind of like to see Ricochet getting pushed and a few other superstars. I can't think just off the top of my head right now because I'm trying to concentrate on this. But there's, there is a few. You guys know I love Ricochet, man. I don't understand how WWE has not taken full advantage of Ricochet's ability. They just use him as kind of a jobber, which is so disrespectful. It's not cool. It's not cool, man. But, you know, we WWE, oh, I say we. WWE has fired so many... WWE superstar, so much talent has been wasted. Like, really and truthfully, Karrion Cross. Oh, that guy was made to be a star. Karrion Cross has got hair now. I don't know if you guys have seen it. He was bored before, right? My guy's got hair. He looks so different. He looks so different. To break him and Scarlett up when they put him to the main roster was the dumbest thing they could have done. Karrion Cross could have been a main player in these matches. I could have seen Karrion Cross in the chamber with these guys. Like, literally, my boys, Karrion Cross was a star in the making. He run NXT. He done a good job. Scarlett done a good job. She was the talker, the wife and husband duo. It was, it was spectacular. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that was, that was Karrion Cross and Scarlett. And then they bring him up to the main roster. And let me just get this straight, just so I understand. You take the one thing away that made carry and cross carry and cross you took scarlet away bro you don't do that this is just going so off topic right now but you guys understand where i'm coming from man uh but yeah you know we're getting to see old timers uh coming back and getting title shots i wouldn't mind goldberg coming back and just trying to wrestle someone you know that's cool give me an extra match you don't have to put goldberg in a title shot give that to someone else AJ Styles. Just give it to someone else. Anybody. Just give it Austin Fury a damn title shot. Who cares? Give Ricochet a title shot. I don't care. Pop up. Spear. Damn. Spear versus Spear. Goldberg just. Woo. He just wrecked him right there, baby. Damn. Damn. That's an exciting match. Not going to lie. I've been having a whole bunch of uh, matches on uh, 2K20 with the AI doing it. And the AI's actually been doing a decent job. Not gonna lie, we've been getting some phenomenal matches. If you've watched the other matches we've been doing, it's been real good. So this is actually kind of exciting to watch. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be a good match like this. I don't think it will be. Might be, who knows? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's just hope that he doesn't get injured and then demands a rematch because his leg. You know his leg, remember that first match with Bobby Lashley? Oh, he's... When that, that first match in his leg got injured, was just like, bruh, really? You made me wait for this? And then the second time was whatever, but this first time, bruh, bruh. I just wanted to be a full out brawl, you know, full on brawl, just 
Spearing here, spearing there, jackhammer there, Superman punch here, pat, pat, pat through the tables. If we get something like that, cool. I just don't know if Goldberg's body can handle that kind of punishment still. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to see, but uh, you know, time will tell. Will it be a good match? Like I said, I hope every match in WWE is gonna be good, no matter who it is. But whether it is or not, it's a whole different story. Their booking is terrible. Shane McMahon got damn fired because his Royal Rumble booking was, was insanely dumb. <laughs> like, lich. Damn, Roman, man. It was, it was like, yo, bro. Shane Man comes in, man, just starts beating the heck out of him, gets, gets, gets KO out. Bro, like, literally, like, he's, he's, his booking was terrible. Vince had enough, damn it. Vince fired his own son. Vince a man fired Shane McMahon. <laughs> oh, my God, where, where's it coming to? Where's it coming to? It's coming to awesomeness, to be honest, because now everyone thought Shane was untouchable. Let's be honest, come on. The son of the owner gets damn fired? He done that on purpose, bro. He done that on purpose, bro. Everyone's saying some shenanigans, shenanigans like, yo, Shane McMahon gonna go to AEW. You're crazy, what are you smoking, bro? No. Do you think Khan would take on Shane McMahon? No. No, he wouldn't. There is no way. If, 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 if any way AEW signed Shane McMahon, you might as well just sign the papers and say, yeah, we're off the air now. There you go, see you later. That's not happening. That's a, uh, guys, whoever thinks that, please stop smoking. It's not normal, bro. Right? That's not happening. That is not happening. For Tony Khan to even consider hiring Vince's son would be the dumbest thing he's ever done. Superman punch about to come right now. Let's see if Goldberg can wake up from being dazed of that drive-by. Look at this. Oh, that Superman punch just laid him down, baby. Laid him down. This is what could happen. Oh. Goldberg, you think you're funny. You acknowledged Roman Reigns, or you acknowledged that he's the next victim? He's your next victim? Oh, Reigns gonna break you in half, just like, ooh! I eat my words. I eat my words. But yo, yeah, yeah, next victim, I don't know about that. Oh, Goldberg set it up. Goldberg set up, throw him in there, Goldberg. Do not disappoint. Here we go, throw him straight there. There you go! I told you, the AI have been doing good, baby. The AI have been doing absolutely epic with this. One, two, Roman kicks out, man. That's what God mode is. God mode is wreck everyone and leave, baby. Wreck everyone and leave, baby. I had to get that hat on for the day. I mean, I got the Roman hat, bro. I think the Roman magic, I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> All right, so uh, Goldberg got that spear where he got the jackhammer as well. That Damn, I'm not even playing. I say jackhammer, it does it. Here we go, jackhammer go. Oh, Roman's out, Roman's out. One. Two, God Mode activate, no! The God Mode got turned off. Here we go, all right, so if you guys don't know, I probably didn't say it, um, woo! It's two out of three falls. Next superstar to get that pinfall is the winner. Goldberg might actually pull an upset. <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy, because Roman does wreck everyone. If Goldberg come back, how old is that, like 74? Oh no, Goldberg is old, he's in good shape, don't get me wrong, I would love to be in the same shape as Goldberg, and I'm like 30, damn it. Like, all right, a little bit more than 30, but you know, a couple of years over that, but yeah, he's like double my age, damn it. But he's in, he's in amazing shape. I would love to be like Goldberg. <laughs> but yeah, um, I can't believe Goldberg's back. <laughs> I'm in shock. I wake up this morning, I go look at WWE, I'm like, Goldberg is back, damn it, again, again? Are you kidding me right now? We don't, we don't need to see, we don't need to see Goldberg no more, bro. Like, who who's hiring Goldberg again? Like, seriously, man. Like I said, put Goldberg in a match. That's cool. Have Goldberg come and 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 want to take out uh, Edge next. That'd be good. You know, Edge and Goldberg going head to head. We don't need no damn titles on the line when we see Goldberg. Every time this guy comes back, he just. Title shot, please. Title shot. Wait, wait, let me just get my, my voucher for one title shot, please. One second. One title shot, please. Like, how, many, how many vouchers has he got? How many? Did, did Vince McMahon give my whole book of vouchers? Here, take this. You just give me one of those every time you want a title shot. Cool, man. He's got like about 56 left. What the heck is going on? Like, we don't need to see title shots. We can see epic matches. Oh, Goldberg. Woo! Now, I feel like that'd be a good match, actually. Goldberg and Edge. Damn. Goldberg and uh, AJ Styles. Oh, see, we can see some epic matches like that. We can see some epic matches like that. We don't need to see title lines because every time we see a title match, me personally, I feel like Reigns is winning. 
Reigns is winning because I know that he ain't going to win this match because he ain't going to become no Universal Championship. He, sorry, he ain't going to become no Universal Champion. That is not happening. No, 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 no. There's no way that Brock and everyone else having trouble, uh oh, having trouble beating Reigns. Oh, damn. And then Goldberg comes along and, and then gets it. Oh, Reigns. Oh, damn. It could be over. The dance. It could be over. Done. One, activate your resiliency. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Now you get up. He's got another one. Oh, damn. Reigns, you got cold. Is he, what's he doing? What's he doing? Where's the Usos, man? Jimmy J, you need to come out and save your cousin. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, no. It's over, man. It's over. It's over. It's done. A second one in a row. Goldberg gets it. Damn! Reigns, what the heck you doing, bro? Oh, Reigns is out. That is done. It's done. Two in a row? This better not happen at Elimination Team. <laughs> that better not happen. If that happens, hey, I'm, I'm gonna stop watching WWE for a little while. <laughs> I'm gonna die home. What the heck? No, no, no. <laughs> it could happen. Think about it, that it could happen. That's gonna be absolutely crazy. Uh, but all right, guys, yeah, definitely in the comments below, let me know how you feel about Goldberg coming back once again, man. It's cool, but at the same time, it's not cool. Like, you, you, cool, not cool. Cool as Goldberg, not cool as Goldberg. <laughs> it's weird, man. Uh, but all right, guys, until then, we'll see you guys in the next episode. My dudes.